Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I really appreciate you coming out. Kind of a busy day. I ended up selling four, and um, I hadn't get it. Hadn't had a chance to look at this uh, Turo 2012 uh, scrapper that delivers showed up last night. He called and said he had two on his trailer. So he said, a Power Smart. I, he says, I know you don't like Power Smart, but the other one's a Turo Recycler. So he showed up. I looked. So I, I kind of determined in my little brain I'd give 15 for the Turo and uh, 5 for the Power Crap. Just because I had seen the uh, pull cord here was dangling so the spring is broken uh, we've got a big screw through it some wire here holding that together and the whole front of the deck here has cracked the plastic cracked you can see that big um, split that shouldn't be like that and then there's this uh, cart wheel on it so That's what I think of this. So let's uh, talk about this one that I just got. And I did a video, I think, last fall on this Power Smart. This is a 144cc 2020. This is a 170 2020 model year. So very similar. The uh, rear plastic here is the same on both. But the wheels are different. These are fake wheels. These actually have, um, I guess that is plastic too. Hard plastic. Looks like tread, but it's not. So I cleaned this one up. This one came in without an air filter, and uh, filter cover actually. So this thing's been sitting before I got you out of bed. I, um prime the primer bulb and this thing ended up starting so kind of impressed sitting that long the thing uh, fired off so I kind of tried to do some research and just buy the cover and I think it was very expensive and I didn't want to put out a lot of money on this turret I figured one day one would show up with the cover so when I saw this one last night with the cover, I said, okay, there's my five bucks. Because I, I think maybe these are 35 or something stupid. I wasn't going to spend that much money. So I'm going to steal the cover off of that, put it on this, and then advertise it. So I know these are cruddy. I ended up buying a couple of these new in the box just to put together and see if they'd sell. They were dirt cheap but there's a reason they're dirt cheap because they uh end up falling apart the uh, reviews i had seen this is a common issue a lot of people complain the handle falls off you've got a pin holding it here and then one bolt here and i think the constant moving of the handle back and forth this thing end up, ends up crapping out Or the vibration might have uh, loosened up the um, bolt and it just uh, worked its way out. So Harvey decided a little uh, coat hanger action wrapped around a big uh, deck screw was going to do the job. So since this um, deck is screwed up, the engine might start if I fix the recoil. I have another hyper crap. Uh, deck the engine came in all disassembled the recoil was gone I think the carbs off it it's just the uh, case that's left I can ditch that throw this engine on that good-looking um, deck and maybe I can make another machine out of uh, what I got here not that it'd bring me a lot of money it'd just be an experience on how to work with uh, double turds so like I said 
2012 on the Turo. Let me give you the model number. Main deal with this thing, the uh, recoil is out of commission. Saw the rope dangling on the trailer. So knew that was going to be something to deal with. I had the aftermarket recoil. We'll discuss that. This is model 20371. Serial number 312. The 1 2 means it's a 2012. 31209. 9, 2, 7, 4, it looks like. Again, model 20371 on this 2012 Kohler powered engine. So you can buy these Chinese aftermarket uh, recoils. You see this one says Kohler. They can't put Kohler on these aftermarkets because it's not uh, a Kohler product. It's just a copycat. So we can't do much without a recoil, so we're going to put that on, try to start this. Uh, I'd be surprised if it started. Tank's bone dry, so we, we may be in luck. Just see if it's got any oil in it. It's got oil, but it's at the low mark. Probably just enough to start it. I won't run it very long. So this will be the money maker. The power smart is just something to challenge my wits. See if I can get that going. So today was kind of uh, busy, like I said, with sales. Kind of been jumping around like a jackrabbit to different projects. Can't seem to finish one. So I said, the hell with it. I'm just going to get you guys out of bed and uh, show you these two beauties. Um, sold one yesterday, it came back. Um, he said he had put gas in it and it would just start and stall, start and stall. So I'm wondering if he contaminated the tank. He said he got new Wawa fuel. So I'm not sure about that, but that was kind of a bummer. He wanted his money back, which was fine. I refunded him his money. It was just a cheap $100 machine. So I may tackle that next after this Turo. I may bring you along for that just to see if... Um, I sold him a dud or did he contaminate? I've had the unit for um, a couple of months. It was just kind of a hundred dollar, no nonsense, Poulon Pro with a different engine on it. I, I ended up um, taking the dead engine off the Poulon Pro deck. And um, I think it's got maybe a Troy built engine on it, something like that. Just a cheapy, cheap, hyper tough style deck. So it's kind of discouraging. I mean, it started for me every time I brought it out, and then you sell it and it comes right back because he says it won't start. So that's not to say something happened between here and there. But who knows? I felt I didn't want to grill the guy on his fuel usage. So we got a, a filter here that isn't too bad. It's, it's bad enough. I'm going to put it back on just so we can try to start this thing. Let me grab some fuel. We're going to fuel it. If it doesn't start with fuel, we'll um, juice it. I have happy juice. This is a 6.75 horse on the Kohler 149cc, 22-inch front-wheel drive. So let's throw some highly combustible liquid in there. 
oh by the way that's what we're doing today staying hydrated i know you guys are sweating your asses off wherever you are <clears throat> talked to my brother recently who lives in phoenix crazy hot weather he says uh, the ash trees ASH are being really stressed out from the heat. They um, kind of are able to tolerate it a little bit, but it, it's been so damn hot that some of these ash trees are dying, which is unfortunate. So you'll probably see that plants that could once survive in the areas as, as temperatures rise they're all going to be dead because they they can't uh tolerate it okay let's uh just pull and go on this we got fuel there's no shut off for the gas let's go 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 well that sounds terrible I'm just listening to that banging, maybe connecting rod, banging. Let me turn this over and um, I'm going to pull the plug because I'm going to be messing around with the blade. I just want to twist the blade. Let me get a clamp for the handle. Okay, handle is clamped. I'm going to tip it over. So this, this may be a dud. I may have to steal a um, Kohler engine off of a rusty deck. Okay, I, um, I see an abnormality here. The... Um, belt guard here is down here for some reason touching the uh adapter it should be up here in the back keeping the belt on the track so i don't know what happened here how this got whacked down but you can see back here how low it is that that should be way up here so that's that's really weird. Is that our banging, maybe? The um, blade is not spinning backwards, so there we go. We might have a an, an internal in engine issue. Kind of no, com no compression. So let me just try getting a big screwdriver, getting this off of here. But I don't think this is our issue. I don't think we have compression. And I... I come to a stop there that's that's not right what well, could be um, up there not letting it go backwards I thought maybe if it had a starter starter teeth stopping it but this this isn't uh, an electric start unit Okay, let me um, deal with the guard and then see what the problem is. So this, this isn't looking good on the 2012 Toro. 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 A 
I'm going to get a giant uh, screwdriver. Okay, I got something that'll work. So I was kind of hoping for um, good luck on this since the recoil was broken. But I think this has got more issues. Okay, it is mo moving slightly. You can hear that contact with the pulley. It's weird how this got kicked back like that. It would have taken some some force to get this to slip past. Hold your ears. Okay. little bit of um, contact. I'm going to keep playing with this. There we go. Nothing like a hammer to move some sheet metal around. Okay, so we're free and clear on the pulley. That doesn't sound good right there. We have some uh, play, connecting rod play. Yeah, I think this engine shot Surprisingly, the um, tread wear looks practically new, so this is odd. Let me look at the blades, see if there's any big gouges. I don't see any huge gouges. Blade is uh, worn out, probably original blade. So this is kind of strange. See, it doesn't, doesn't want to move backwards. I have not had one like that. I have experienced that before. I forget what I was working on. I don't know if it was a... Uh, I forget now. I'm trying to remember. in my catalog of sad stories. Okay, let me turn this back down. I think this is gonna be more serious than the um, belt guard. I'm gonna start pulling on it. see flames let me know yeah this engine shot just for the fun of it I'm going to remove the plug. I didn't have the plug attached, but that's not going to make a difference. This thing's banging like the um, Bangles drummer in 1982. Okay.
that's not the right one. That's how my day's going. I got what I needed. What's going on with you guys? For a minute there, I thought I was grabbing the wrong one, but we got it. Second try is a charm. So that's unfortunate. This thing crapped out. Okay, nothing uh, showing up on the plug. Like any debris, any filings, anything like that. We got some compression, but the engine shot. I don't know what it is, but that's definitely not a normal sound. Maybe there's so much play in the connecting rod bearing that when you go to turn it backwards, it's uh, jamming up on itself. You go backwards, the connecting rod is so loose, it's binding up. I'm just trying to visualize that stop. See, it's, it's okay there right now, except for right there, it caught itself. I'm sure if I um, put a, a gauge, compression gauge on it, we would have, have a known or visible issue. Okay, so there's no more discussing this, the 2012 has uh, gone kaput. Sorry about the camera work. You weren't seeing much. I think I've gotten a couple of these Turos with um, decks that have just collapsed here in the middle and the blade was facing forward. I may... Um, take a walk around and try to get a um, another engine to put on this deck. Deck is solid on this one. There's no rush through. It's just a little um, a little dirty. I was looking for a rag to try to do a Lawrence Carroll buff and shine. Let me get a rag for this. See if this thing will shine. Shine in the morning sun. Okay, we got a rag and um, I got the uh, the shine juice. I got the Lawrence Carroll shine. Shine in a bottle. Let me wipe the dirt off of it. Now we'll 
will shine and go. So hopefully we can um, rectify that bring back I was mentioning. I think it's bad fuel. Things started for me fine. Guy fuels it and now it won't won't run. I've already had that happen this season. I think I did a video with you guys and um, I found a bunch of water in the bowl. Water still doesn't burn. Okay. So the deck isn't bad. It's not 100% um, it's showing some age, but it'll be good enough as far as the paint. There's no um, gloss on it. And I'm not going to buff it out with compound. Those days are long gone. I'll take the uh, aftermarket recoil off. Anyway... Sorry about that. This was not a 100% video. You guys have a good day today. Please tip your waitress and wait staff. I may do a little walkie walk, see what I have, and then move on to another project. I got to keep, keep the ball rolling. Stuff's backing up. I got to keep inventory rolling, give people choices on quality lawnmowers at reasonable prices. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Have a good day today. Thanks for coming out.